Hello audience, my name is Thomas. Thomas wish you happiness and prosperity. Editor Thomas would like to welcome you for visiting and here is the official news. See them now. One, Malaika Aurora says trolling about her relationships doesn't bother her anymore. Block out the noise and move on. Malaika Aurora recently discussed her approach to handling criticism, particularly regarding social media trolling about her relationships. In an interview with Global Spa magazine, she acknowledged that while negativity can be bothersome, she has learned to manage it effectively and is no longer significantly affected by it. She emphasized that she deals with criticism in the best way she can. Recognizing that it can impact her at times, but she has developed resilience against it. 2. Hubby of Gossip Queen, Saif Ali Khan hilariously eavesdrop on Bollywood Wives. Fans call it Karina's effect. Saif Ali Khan was recently seen eavesdropping on the Bollywood Wives in a viral clip, which has reignited an old rumor about his wife, Karina Kapoor Khan. The trailer for the third season of Fabulous Lives of Bollywood Wives features familiar faces like Neelam Kothari and Mahip Kapoor along with new additions Radima Kapoor Sani, Shalini Posse, and Kalyani Saha Chala. Notably, both Ranbir Kapoor and Saif Ali Khan made brief appearances, with Ranbir expressing skepticism about his sister Radima's involvement. While Saif appeared to mediate between the Delhi and Mumbai socialites. 3. Vijay Varma says there is a monetary attachment to online trolling. People think these comments are real, Vijay Varma has expressed concerns about the financial motivations behind online hate comments, stating that many trolls are paid to spread negativity. In an interview with the Indian Express, he emphasized the harmful impact of such trolling on innocent individuals who may believe these comments are genuine. Varma called for an end to these practices highlighting the need to address the issue of monetized online harassment. 4. Rajkumar Harani gives an update on Muna by 3 with Sanjay Dutt. I have a unique idea filmmaker Rajkumar Harani recently discussed his focus on multiple projects related to the highly anticipated third installment of the Muna by MBBS franchise. Lead actors Sanjay Dutt and Arshad Warsi have expressed their eagerness to reprise their roles, with Harani stating that creating Muna by 3 is his top priority. He shared these insights during an event in Mumbai, emphasizing his commitment to the franchise while also acknowledging the need for a solid script before moving forward. 5. Snakes and Ladders Review Teen actors' splendid performances salvage this Kartik Subaraj-backed series Snakes and Ladders, a web series featuring five school kids. Was released on Amazon Prime Video on October 18. Despite being produced by well-known Tamil director Kartik Subaraj, his creative influence is not strongly felt in the series. The show, directed by debutantes Bharat Muralidharan, Ashok Virapan, and Kamala Alchemist, aims to deliver an adventurous experience reminiscent of Enid Blyton's Famous Five. However, the series suffers from poor writing, which undermines its potential as a young adult thriller. Here is official news. Let's see. Six. Trisha Krishnan unwinds on an all-girls trip to Morocco with GOAT producer Archana Kalpathy actor Trisha Krishnan is enjoying an all-girls trip to Morocco with friends, including producer Archana Kalpathy, 
She shared photos from the vacation on Instagram, showcasing her experiences, including a picture with a local child and scenic mountain views. Trisha expressed her love for travel in her captions. 7. Bataillon director keen on making prequel to film with Regina Kant director T.J. Nonaval is pleased with the positive reception of his film. Bataillon, which has grossed over 250 crore rupees at the box office. He expressed a desire to collaborate with superstar Regina Kant again and revealed plans for a prequel titled, Bataillon. The Hunter. This prequel would explore the backstory of key characters. Including how Regina Kant's character became an encounter specialist and Fahad Fossil's transformation into a thief and police informant. Nonaval also mentioned that the topic of encounter killings has deeply affected him. 8. Bataillon Box Office Collection Day 6, Regina Kant's action drama sees further drop. Earns 114.60 crore rupees in India Regina Kant's film, Bataillon, which released on October 10, collected 4.25 crore rupees on its sixth day at the box office. Despite a strong opening, the film has experienced a decline in earnings since Monday. As of now, Bataillon has grossed a total of 114.60 crore rupees in India. 9. Kanguva producer is confident Surya Starr will earn 2,000 crore rupees. Why are you underestimating it with 1,000 crore rupees? K. Nanaval Raja, the producer of Surya's upcoming film, Kanguva has stated that he will provide documentation regarding the film's box office collection. Kanguva is anticipated to be one of the most expensive Indian films ever, with Raja predicting it will gross 2,000 crore rupees, a milestone achieved by only one Indian film previously. Surya stars as a warrior in this fantasy action drama directed by Shiva. Raja discussed the film's potential in an interview, referencing the emerging 1,000 crore club in Indian cinema. 10. Bataillon Box Office Collection Day 5, Regina Kant, Amitabh Bachchan's film sees huge dip, crosses 110 crore rupees in India the film, Bataillon, starring Regina Kant and Amitabh Bachchan. Earned 5.6 crore rupees net on its fifth day, October 14, following a strong opening of 31.7 crore rupees. Released on October 10, the action drama initially received a positive response and maintained good collections until Sunday, but experienced a significant drop on Monday. Despite this decline, the film had crossed 200 crore rupees in worldwide collections by day 4.